Pure in what sense? I'm a wholesome Christian boy. I'm pure. In my soul. By pure, I mean I haven't done that with a partner. I always love how that is the definition of purity. I haven't done it with another person. But I've done it with myself 10,000 times. And it's like... It's funny how we use that to draw the line. I always found it fascinating. Always found it fascinating. Or like the... if As long as we don't do it in that hole, it's pure. And it's like... But anyway. <clears throat> Killing your enemies doesn't give the same satisfaction as removing their dominant arm. I won't say anything. I don't want to traumatize people. Water. Previously on Avatar Ember Island is a magical place Doesn't your family have a house on Ember Island? We used to come every summer when we were kids That was a long time ago Like waves washing away the footprints on the sand Oh yeah, they were a thing, sort of Ember Island gives everyone a clean slate. Ember Island reveals the true you. Is that why you two are perpetually stuck on Ember Island? Because you can't, couldn't get over the fact that you're getting old and you peaked and you never wanted to leave and now you're trapped? See, I don't really care what would satisfy people's feelings or what would destroy them. I only care about practic practicality and society where people take revenge for personal sites is not practical. You can be the worst person without having blood on your hands. Oh yeah. The Ember Island players? What? <sighs> Katara, I know what you're thinking. But that is haram. Doesn't it seem kind of weird that we're hiding from the Fire Lord in his own house? I mean, he'd never suspect that you're there. I told you, my father hasn't come here since our family was actually happy. And that was a long time ago. It's the last place anyone would think to look for us. Wait, your family ever had happiness? And Zuko, you really need to work on your left arm. Your right arm has a lot more muscle mass than your left. Looking at your shoulder, you really need to work on the left side of your body. You guys are not gonna believe this. There's a play about us. We were just in town and we found this poster. What, what the fuck? How is that possible? Listen to this. The Boy in the Iceberg is a new production from acclaimed playwright Poo on Tim, who scoured the globe gathering information on the Avatar, from the icy South Pole to the heart of Ba Sing Se. His sources include singing nomads, pirates, prisoners of war, and a surprisingly knowledgeable merchant of cabbage. Brought to you by the critically acclaimed Ember Island Players. Ugh. My mother used to take us to see them. They butchered love amongst the dragons every year. Sokka, do you really think it's a good idea for us to attend a play about ourselves? Come Zuko, for the love of God. Come on, a day at the theater? This is the kind of wacky, time-wasting nonsense I've been missing. Theater made of wood. Block the entrance, block the exit, start a little fire, get the recorder, and you've got a lullaby that you can fall asleep to. Hey, uh, I wanted to sit there. Just sit next to me. What's the big deal? Katara, I know what you're thinking, but that's haram. I was just... I wanted to... Katara, that's haram. Okay. Why are we sitting in the nosebleed section? My feet can't see a thing from up here. Don't worry, I'll tell your feet what's happening. Sokka, my only 
only brother. We constantly roam these icy South Pole seas, and yet never do we find anything fulfilling. All I want is a full feeling in my stomach. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> is food the only thing on your mind? Well, I'm trying to get it out of my mind and into my mouth. I'm starving. <laughs> this is pathetic. My jokes are way funnier than this. <laughs> I think he's got you pegged. Every day the world awaits a beacon. That is haram. ...to guide us, yet none appears. Still, we cannot give up hope. For hope is all we have. And we must never relinquish it, even... <laughs> Even to our dying breath. <laughs> well, that's just silly. I don't sound like that. <laughs> oh man, this writer's a genius. It appears to be someone frozen in ice. All right, let's see the propaganda. Let's see what they portray Aang as. I already see horns. Perhaps for a hundred years. But who? Who is the boy in the iceberg? Waterbend! Hi! Yeah! Who are you, frozen boy? <laughs> I'm the Avatar, silly! Here to spread joy and fun! Wait, is that a woman playing me? <laughs> Bender. My heart is so full of hope that it's making me tear bend. <laughs> My stomach is so empty that it's making me tear bend. <laughs> I need meat. <gasps> but wait, is that a platter of meaty dumplings? Ooh, where, where? <laughs> Did I mention that I'm an incurable prankster? I don't do that. That's not what I'm like. And I'm not a woman. <laughs> oh, they nailed you, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> oh, boy. Great Zuko, you must try this cake. I don't have time to stuff my face. I must capture the Avatar to regain my honor. To be fair, he was like that. Well, while you do that, maybe I'll capture another slice. You sicken me. They make me look totally stiff and humorless. Yes. Actually, I think that actor's pretty spot on. How could you say that? Let's forget about the Avatar and get massages. How could you say that? He's not even 16. You can't just take him to Indonesia. You see, that was the funniest thing in Indonesia. Like, we finished the... Um, uh, Southeast Asian tournament and then everyone like all the competitors were talking about like oh yeah you know what would be really good getting a massage I'm like oh that's a good idea so I went with like one of the guys that I was competing with and we're like oh let's get some massages and his partner was also there and she's like yeah let's go get a massage I'm like awesome so we ordered room service and we got massages anyway we had a massage and um toward the end of the massage it was mm -hmm. I probably should have seen it coming, but um, they were using oil and then they were like, oh, remove this, remove this. And I'm like, okay. And then at the end, in really broken English, she was like, turn around. And I'm like, uh, what? And then she's like, do you want me massage your baby? And I'm like, uh, no, 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 massage my neck. Anyway, so we finished getting the massages and then we like got out and we went drinking and stuff and all the other karate people that were competing They were like, where were you guys? Like we were getting a massage and then everyone was like I'm Like no, not that massage a neck massage, you know, because my neck clicks and stuff <laughs> All of them were talking about getting massages. None of them got a massage They were all like, yeah, let's go get massages. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. None of them got a massage and then the girls from our dojo were like... And I'm like, it's not like that. <laughs> I was like, why would I get a massage from an old woman? Probably shouldn't have said that. Because one of them was like, and what's wrong with old women? They have experience. 
I just kept my mouth shut. All right, I was not gonna pull the pin on that hand grenade. Hey, look! I think I found something! It's a flying rabbit monkey! I think I'll name him Momo! <laughs> Where is Momo? Hi, everybody! I love you! <laughs> Does this dress make my butt look fat? <laughs> Wait, how the fuck do they know all this shit? Those and challenges must you face if you are ever to leave this place. <laughs> how the fuck do they know any of this shit? <laughs> Stop it, Katara, that is haram. How do they even know about it? <laughs> it just gave me so much hope! You know, I like that they're using this as an opportunity to like recap the series and it's clever, but how the fuck would they know this shit? <laughs> the Avatar is mine! Wait, who's coming? I'm the blue spirit, the scourge of the fire nation, here to save the Avatar! The irony. My hero! <laughs> How the fuck do they know about this shit? Seriously, how? How do they even know who this guy is? He's fucking dead. I'm taking this as a thumbnail. It's so ridiculous. Oh my god. This is just ridiculous. Don't cry, baby. Jet will wipe out that nasty town for you. How do they even know his name? You have that one coming, Look, Katara. It's the Great Divide! The biggest canyon in the Earth Kingdom! How do you know about that? Eh, let's keep flying. <laughs> Don't go, Yue. You're the only woman who's ever taken my mind off of food. No! No! Saki doesn't know about this! No! Oh no! Oh my god, no! This is breaking the bro code on so many levels! Wait, did you have pickled fish for dinner? Goodbye, Sokka. I have important moon duties to take care of. This is after he met Saki! Oh my god! <laughs> and yes, I did have pickled fish. <laughs> you never told me you made out with the moon spirit. I'm trying to watch. You're fucked. You are fucked. She was open to the idea? Well, Katara was fantasizing about a threesome with Aang and Zuko, so why would you cuck Suki? She trains with a bunch of girls all day. What, you think she never found one of them cute? <laughs> I love how they didn't have Toph. She's right there! So far, this intermission is the best part of the play. 
Apparently, the playwright thinks I'm an idiot who tells bad jokes about meat all the time. Yeah, you tell bad jokes about plenty of other topics. I know! At least the Sokka actor kind of looks like you. That woman playing the Avatar doesn't resemble me at all. I don't know. You are more in touch with your feminine side than most guys. <gasps> Relax, Aang. They're not accurate portrayals. It's not like I'm a preachy crybaby who can't resist giving over-emotional speeches about hope all the time. Hmm. What? Hmm. Yeah, that's not you at all. Listen, friends. It's obvious that the playwright did his research. Toph is gonna get fucked in part two, watch. I know it must hurt, but what you're seeing up there on that stage is the truth. Oh, she is so fucked in part two, just watch. Well, here we are in the Earth Kingdom. I better have a look around to see if I can find an earthbending teacher. This is it. This must be where I come in. Oh no, oh no. I flew all over town, but I couldn't find a single earthbending master. Here it comes. You can't find an earthbending master in the sky. You have to look underground. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? My name's Tough, because it sounds like tough. And that's just what I am. Huh? Wait a minute. Huh? I sound like a guy. A really buff guy. Sakura-chan! You know, I thought Sakura-chan was a guy the first time I played Danganronpa. And then I was like, wait, that's a chick? Well, Toph, what you hear up there is the truth. It hurts, doesn't it? She's actually into it. Look at her. She's like, fuck yeah! I'm a rip tread motherfucker! I like Toph. She's my spirit animal. She just goes with it. She's my fucking spirit animal. I love this girl. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't have cast it any other way. <laughs> At least it's not a flying bald lady. <laughs> Fuck, you're gonna kill me, girl. You know what? This is pretty good, too. God, don't you hate it when you laugh so much that you start coughing? Oh, Toph, never change. Does Toph actually mean anything? Or is it just like, meh? Oh, you're blind? <laughs> I can see you doing that. I see everything that you see. Except I don't see like you do. I release a sonic wave from my mouth. <laughs> She's a Zubat! Oh my god, this is perfect. This is fucking perfect. This is like an episode of fucking Johnny Bravo. This is so good. I'm sorry for all the screenshots, but this is perfection. There. I got a pretty good look at you. <laughs> Zuko, it's time we had a talk about your hair. It's gone too far. Maybe it's best if we split up. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Azura, my sister, what are you doing here? You caught me. Wait, what's that? I think it's your honor. Where? <laughs> she escaped, but how? She continues drilling. This wall will come down for sure. Ha ha! Yes. Continue drilling. The city of Bossing Se can hide no longer. You know, I'm surprised they have the balls to make fun of Azula. I'm just saying. Wait, he was resurrected? Must destroy! Help! 
Did Jet just die? You know, it was really unclear. I have to admit, Prince Zuko, I really find you attractive. You don't have to make fun of me. But I mean it. How the fuck do they know about this? I've had eyes for you since the day you first captured me. No, <laughs> this, this fucking plays a snitch. This plays just stoking the flames. You know what'd be really funny? If Azula actually knew they were here, and so she wrote this play to fuck with them. Just for the shits and giggles. And you all know Azula would do it. Wait! I thought you were the Avatar's girl! No! <laughs> <laughs> the Avatar? <laughs> Why, he's like a little brother to me! <laughs> I certainly don't think of him in a romantic way. Besides, how could he ever find out about... This. Oh. Oh, you're getting up? Oh. Can you get me some fire flakes? Oh. Oh, and fire gummies. Oh. Well, my brother, what's it going to be? Your nation or a life of treachery? <laughs> that fucking hair, man. What is he, a pillar man? Choose treachery. It's more fun. I agree with Ira. How dare you! I hate you, Uncle! You smell! And I hate you for all time! The blatant fucking disrespect for Iroh. You should burn this place to the fucking ground. You didn't really say that, did you? I might as well have. Oh shit, they're gonna show the fact that he had a romantic relationship with her. This is about to get awkward! This fucking play is a snitch. You see, this is why I don't go to plays. Oh my god, the dancing very <laughs> Shut up. I swear this was written by Azula. Yeah, this is definitely written by Azula. They keep all the good bits of Azula, not the shit ones. The Avatar is no more! Yeah, yeah this was definitely written by Azula. Wait, didn't Azula claim that Zuko was the one that took out the Avatar? Yet in this play, she's the one doing the Bolt of Lightning. Explain that shit. It seems like every time there's a big battle, you guys barely make it out alive. I mean, you guys lose a lot. You're one to talk, Suki. Didn't Azula take you captive? That's right, she did. Ooh. She will remember that. Are you trying to get on my bad side? No! <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, her, your ass is hers. Does anyone know where Aang is? He left to get me fire gummies like 10 minutes ago. He's writing a poem. And I'm still waiting. I'm gonna check outside. He got brother zoned. He got brother zoned after he kissed her. Oof. 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 You know, there's friend zone and then there's brother zoned. Oof. That's rough, buddy. Ah! Are you alright? No. He looks like a smurf. I'm not. I hate this play. I know it's upsetting, but it sounds like you're overreacting. Overreacting? If I hadn't blocked my chakra, I'd probably be in the Avatar state right now. So basically, you'd be a teenage girl on a period. Wow. 
That's... You know, I surely did you a favor. You'll save a fortune on tampons. Whee! Suki, what are the chances you can get me backstage? I got some jokes I want to give to the actor me. I'm an elite warrior who's trained for many years in the art of stealth. I think I could get you backstage. You remember that time I went to the um, anime thing here in Sydney at the International Convention Center? And I was doing one of those, like, what's it called? Scavenger hunts. And so I was looking for a clue, but I completely got lost. And then I convinced security to let me around. And then I somehow ended up in the back of the maid cafe. And then I convinced the maids to help me try to look for something. You know, if you believe something, you could literally talk your way into anything. And if worse comes to worse, just grab a fire extinguisher. No one questions what the guy running with the fire extinguisher is doing. Nobody. Jeez, everyone's getting so upset about their characters. Even you seem more down than usual, and that's saying something. You don't get it. It's different for you. You get a muscly version of yourself taking down ten bad guys at once and making sassy remarks. Yeah, that's pretty great. But for me, it takes all the mistakes I've made in my life and shoves them back in my face. My uncle. He's always been on my side, even when things were bad. He was there for me. He taught me so much. And how do I repay him? With a knife in his back. It's my greatest regret. And I may never get to redeem myself. Well, look at the plus side. Your uncle is still alive and you discovered this before he's dead. So you still have a chance to make amends. How about you do something about it instead of sitting there and bitching about it? Get yourself a cup and pour yourself some concrete. You have redeemed yourself to your uncle. You don't realize it, but you already have. How do you know? Because I once had a long conversation with the guy, and all he would talk about was you. Really? Yeah, and it was kind of annoying. Oh, sorry. But it was also very sweet. All your uncle wanted was for you to find your own path and see the light. Now you're here with us. He'd be proud. Ow! Oof. What was that for? That's how I show affection. Ah, Tough. You would probably hate it, but I would lift you up and just do this. She'd fucking kick me. Your Suko costume's pretty good, but your scar's on the wrong side. The scar's not on the wrong side! <laughs> that little shit. He's coming this way. Can I help you? Actually, I think I can help you. I'm a big Sokka fan, but I don't think you're representing him quite as well as you could be. Oh no, another fan with ideas. Just hear me out. Here's something I think the real Sokka would say. <clears throat> what does the cabbage merchant use to fix his cabbages? A cabbage patch! <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Let me see those. <laughs> a rocky relationship. Not bad. Also, don't be afraid to make up some phrases, especially before an attack. Something like, Flying Kickabow! Who are you, anyway? I'm just a guy who likes comedy. Katara, did you really mean what you said in there? In where? What are you talking about? On stage, when you said I was just like a brother to you, and you didn't have feelings for me. I didn't say that. An actor said that. But it's true, isn't it? We kissed at the invasion, and I thought we were going to be together. But we're not. Aang, I don't know. Why don't you know? Because now she can hook up with a prince. I mean, you were the avatar, but now she can also get a prince. You know, the girl's got options now. Because we're in the middle of a war, and we have other things to worry about. That's what they all say. This isn't the right time. That's what they all say. Well, when is the right time? Aang, I'm sorry, but right now I'm just a little confused. Yeah, see, at least she's telling the truth now. She doesn't know which one she was. In, in, in the words of the famous girl when she was asked, should we have soft taco or hard taco? I said, por que no los dos? Come on, you were watching them training. You know you're open to the idea. It's haram, but eh. 
Wrong thing to do, bro. I just said I was confused. Wrong time, bro. I'm going inside. Woof. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Woof. 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 Bruh. 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 Zuko winning Katara over by doing nothing. It's like tug of war. You don't always pull. Sometimes you have to give a little bit of slack. Here's what you missed. We went to the Fire Nation, and you got better, and Katara was the Painted Lady, and I got a sword, and I think Combustion Man died. Oh, look! The invasion's about to start! How the fuck do they even know about Combustion Man?! Shh! The thing was a fucking black op! I just want to let you know, Aang, that I'll always love you. Like a brother. Oof! I wouldn't want it any other way! Oh! I know, I'd want to curl up in a ball and die too. Hey, <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that Toph is basically Dwayne Johnson. This is fucking hilarious. She's like seven foot towering over everyone. I fucking love it, man. It's so good. Oh, would you say you and Aang have a rocky relationship? <laughs> <laughs> I told him to say that. I hope everyone's ready for the invasion. Slap a pow! <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I've created a monster. Actually, I'm home, and I want to join you. I guess we have no choice. Come on. This is practically what happens in Pokemon. I guess that's it. The play's caught up to the present now. Wait, the play's not over. Yeah, this is the anime version. I know the manga hasn't finished the story, but we're gonna write its own ending. But it is over, unless this is the future. With the energy harnessed from that comet, no one will be able to stop the Fire Nation! Father, Zuko and the Avatar are at the palace. They are trying to stop you. <laughs> you take care of Zuko. I shall face the Avatar myself. Hey, You find the Fire Lord. I'll hold her off. You are no longer my brother. You are an enemy. No! I am the rightful heir to the throne! When did Zuko become Vegeta? I mean, just look at that hair. We'll see. Mastered all four elements? Yeah, and now you're going down! No! It is you who are going down! You see, you are too late! Who are going down or who is going down? The comet is already here, and I'm unstoppable! But if you're a firebender, you can also harness the energy of the comet. No! 
It is over, Father. We've done it. Yes, we have done it. And now Azula stabs her father in the back and takes the throne. The dreams of my father and my father's father have now been realized. The world is mine. Until Azula breaks glass, puts it in his food, and he ruptures his stomach lining and bleeds from the inside. That wasn't a good play. I'll say. No kidding. Horrible. You said it. But the effects were decent. Well, at least Sokka's gonna get laid. He's getting laid, I'm telling you that now. Fake, Azula would stab the Fire Lord at this point. No, Azula wouldn't stab, she would have poisoned him at breakfast. And then by the time he finishes his fight, the increase in blood flow would have spread the poison into every part of his body. That's how Azula would operate. She plays the long game. She doesn't leave it up to chance. No, but this was really clever. They they um, recapped the entire show in an entertaining way without having a recap episode. So they had a recap episode without having a recap episode. It was beautiful. Like, I, I clap. I clap. Do not encourage them. They are too young. We do not need a teen pregnancy storyline. Suki's probably going to be pregnant after all the humping that they're doing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frick, but with the amount of times they've probably been humping, she's probably pregnant by now. They're literally at that age where the chance of pregnancy is at the highest. Their hormones will never be higher than they are now. The chance of pregnancy will never be higher. <laughs> and gravity does not prevent pregnancy. And Suki nor Soka are waterbenders to stop that from happening, you know? Don't they still have a water fight? Yes, but they need a future to fight for. Wink. Hey, did I hand you a shrinking potion by accident? I could have sworn that was the gender swapping one. Don't be hating. She's fun size, that's all. She doesn't even have to get on her knees to blow. You want to add anything to that conversation? Nope, I'm good. In fact, I think your new size makes you an even more formidable and stealthy ninja. 